Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Cuban. And this is a film directed by Sergio Navarretta and written by Alessandra Piccione. And this is a story about a young woman, played by Anna Golja, who works at a nursing home and builds this connection with this older comatose man who has dementia, play, played by Louis Gossett Jr. And she starts doing some things like playing music in his room and suddenly he starts coming to life again. Starts cooking him Cuban meals and starting to learn about his life as a Cuban musician. And they build this relationship and it's a very heartwarming relationship that they build. And some other plot threads, it's like this tension building between her and the nursing home because she's not following the rules. And also this relationship that she's building with this young man, played by Giacomo Gioniotti, who she's developing this relationship with. And then she has the tensions at home with her mother, played by Sore Agdashlu, because they have their background. And there's that pressure being home. There's a lot of different subplots that are threading throughout this film. And some of them are a little more realized than others. Like, the romantic relationship probably is not the most interesting one. And it does at least fold into the main story a decent amount. And I feel like the relationship with her and her mother, it's strong, it's developing. But really the heart of this film is that relationship that she, this young woman, Mina, is developing with Luis Garcia. And... From a filmmaking perspective, like, the cinematography-wise, it's like, most of the film feels like I'm watching, like, a TV show with a little bit of, a little bit of different lighting. But there's some inspired moments from Neveretta where you have Louis Gossett Jr. flashing back to his life before and how they thread in this stylized, beautifully shot and decorated and costumed scenes of this older time and they're striking and they're beautiful and like there's one particular scene as him that kid and just the outfit he has on it's like striking and like the colors and it's very artful and the rest of the film's a little toned down in terms of like color and perspective in that way but what really works is like Louis Gossett Jr. gives a great performance here and you can I love the moments when he like comes alive and you can see the spark in him again and like Anna Golja who plays our main character in this film, Mina, she gives a good performance as well and it's very heartwarming and emotional and there's a beautiful connection that the two of them have and I enjoyed the moments that they share on screen. Like, the nursing home aspects of it feel a little too overly simplified, where it's just like, evil nursing home getting in the way, and I don't feel like the film fleshes out enough of, like, some of the things that she do she's doing is questionable because there should be procedures, and they really only flesh that out in, like, one scene. And I feel like that tension could have been built a little bit more and been a little more complex than just such an overly simplified like black and white for most of the film but in general I really enjoyed this film this is a nice little film it has a lot of soul to it that music that atmosphere it makes you really feel and Los Gossett Jr. gives a really good performance in this role and there's some really strong emotional moments and you really care for these two characters in this budding relationship that they have and I really enjoyed this film quite a bit. Is this going to be like the best films of 2020? I don't think so. But I think this film is going to be something that it's going to last a little bit in you after you watch it. And you're going to enjoy those nice, soulful moments that this film delivers. But those are my thoughts on The Cuban. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.